Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing this double exposure look. So let's begin by selecting our subject. Go to quick selection tool and start selecting. I'm going to roughly select it. And then we can refine it later on. Go to your selecting mask. Make sure the refine edge tool is selected and start refining your image. Just get rid of the background. So once I have this, I will hit OK and right click, select inverse and delete the background. All right. I'm going to clean it up a little uh, by eraser tool. I'm just going to just clean up some of the areas that were left behind this. All right. So once we have this, now the real magic begins. So you go to your layer panels and we're going to place a background color. So go to solid color and select white. Put your layer behind your subject. Now we're going to black and white our image. So go to your black and white and make sure you click this button so it can clip it to your layer behind. So you see this arrow, it means that it's clipped on this layer. And since it's too dark, I'm going to adjust the curves. Again, I'm going to clip it to the layer below and start lightening up my blacks. I think this should be good. All right, so once we have this, we're going to place an image on top of this. Like this. Doesn't have to come cover the entire thing and we can adjust it later on. So we have this, now we're going to clip it. So right click on the layer and select create clipping mask. So now you can actually adjust your sizing at this point. Just gonna make it a little bit smaller. Like this. All right, once we have this, now we're going to apply a layer mask on this so we can reveal the image behind it. Go ahead and click this layer mask icon and make sure the black color is selected. Go to your brush tool and let's see, uh, make sure you select a brush that has no hardness, almost no hardness, and you can lower the flow to about like 12 or 10%. And then you can start revealing the image behind it. Going to go a little bit on the top. This. All right? So once we have this, you can go to your um, building layer and select this thumbnail right here and go to your modes. And I would lighten this a little bit. This is how I approach my double exposure images. If you like my method, please like and subscribe to this video and I will take more requests on my Instagram, rabia.design. This was a great request I got on my Instagram, so please contact me there or you can comment down below and ask for more design videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.